last time I saw Paris, her heart was warm and gay. Hi, this is Gina from Haunted Flower, and last night I saw From Paris with Love. From Paris with Love was directed by Pierre Morel, and the story was written by Luc Besson, who brought us The Fifth Element, The Transporter Series, and Taken. However, the screenplay was written by someone else, Eddie Hassak, whose short list of films I've never heard of. This movie stars Jonathan Rhys Myers as James Rhys, a pushover in love with a French girl, Caroline, played by Cassia Smutniak. Reese wants to advance into special ops in the CIA, but in order to do so, he's forced to partner with Charlie Wax, played by John Travolta, a top agent with an unorthodox way of doing things. Meyer's character, Reese, seems to be very different than I would have pictured him. He is brilliant in chess, but clumsy at being a secret agent. In the movie Match Point, Myers played a mastermind who's always two steps ahead, so it's really disheartening to see him played the fool throughout this film. What Myers does provide for the role of Reese is a sexy, handsome face and a skill for language that most of us Americans lack. Jonathan Rhys Meyers' American accent sounds so not cool and not polished or charming, which is usually what he oozes in spades. It almost seems written for a more comedic actor with all the jaw-dropping that he seems to do in response to Wax's antics. He can't be the funny man because that role is clearly meant for Travolta. Travolta's character, Charlie Wax, is ridiculously belligerent, animated, and over the top. I guess Travolta was holding back in the taking of Pelham 123 because he was allowed to really play up all the quirks in this character to an extreme. I think my favorite odd moment from him was when his partner is finally slugging someone and he chimes in with a, yeah boy. It was just odd. Let's not forget his appearance. He has a shiny photoshopped bald head in all of the posters that carries over into the movie along with creepy facial hair and a giant hoop earring. Arg! There be a pirate in the CIA. Hide your children. I don't think he should be around them. Arg! I don't know what he was going for, but that's my closest guess. Travolta had a few funny moments, but I really couldn't get past this new face of his and it distracted me throughout. What it boils down to is this movie is training day two with two white guys in Paris, minus the double cross. Gunfight, mm, back alley brawl, chase scene, bombs, rocket launcher, and it goes on and on and on. If you love action, there's lots of action and very little plot. It's all shoot first and don't bother to ask questions later. My head is still spinning trying to figure out how they connected Chinese cocaine dealers with Pakistani terrorists. And Wax's logic was something along the lines of, well, don't you know what this is really about? Get with it. Um, no, he doesn't know. We, the audience, sure don't know. And no one ever explains it. Nothing connects these things. I don't really feel like I'm giving anything away because the movie sure as heck didn't. They wrapped up the movie in such a way as to leave room for sequels, so this might not be the last time we see Reese and Wax. The positive thing I could say about this movie would be it might be a good enough distraction for people who celebrate anti-Valentine's Day because it has bullets, blood, explosions, and Wax says love can get you killed, so since he's about as reputable as Dr. Phil, I guess you can trust his opinion. Otherwise, I really don't recommend it unless you're trying to avoid when in Rome or Dear John. Well, that's all I've got this time, so tune in next time when I'll be reviewing Valentine's Day, the American answer to Love Actually, or just a bunch of celeb cameos fighting for screen time. We will find out. Hey, come check us out at hauntedflower.com for fantastic apparel, action figures, and collectibles. Also, you can Google Haunted Flower and find our MySpace profile, Facebook fan page, Rotten Tomatoes reviews, and I'm on Twitter! If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes. A top agent with an or- But in order to do so, he must- Reese wants to advance into special ops in the CIA, but in order to do so, he finds himself forced to partner with Charlie Wax, played by John Travolta, a top agent with an unorthodox way of doing things. Hair and a really large hoop, hoop ear. And let's not forget the shiny bold head. Bold? A bold head? <laughs> Valentine's Day, the American X.
Valentine's Day. The American accent. Accent? Harley, knock it off. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. Peace.